the chair that just can't get enough of traveling. Hello everybody, I'm Lavis, and the SCP I'm going to tell you about today is SCP-396, and suddenly, chair. Let's begin. Item number, SCP-396. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. A geolocator has been affixed to SCP-396 to track its movements. Local Foundation liaisons have been dispatched to locations where SCP-396 frequently manifests to facilitate prompt recontainment. An airborne amnestic compound has been infused into the cushions of SCP-396 and into its containment chamber as a precaution. When possible, SCP-396 is to be contained within Area 93. Foundation personnel are not to mention any location or event taking place outside of Area 93 when they are within SCP-396's containment area. Failure to comply with this can result in demotion to Level 0 and is to be treated as a disclosure of classified information. Current theories on enacting permanent containment are currently focused on finding ways to utilize SCP-396's awareness of its surroundings to create controlled environments and induce it to teleport there, which SCP-396 may become settled in repeatedly appearing. This closed-loop theory of containment is currently under consideration by the Area 93 leadership. Description SCP-396 is a chair constructed of plastic and steel. At statically random intervals, usually between 1 and 11 months, SCP-396 will displace itself and another chair somewhere on the planet Earth. Any living matter that is seated on SCP-396 or the seat it is displacing will also change places. This change is instantaneous. The approximate limits of this teleportation are unclear, but SCP-396 is currently believed to be able to transport itself to any location on Earth. SCP-396 was discovered in a theater in <laughs> Originally, it was classified as safe, as its area of effect was believed to be localized. As such, junior-level researchers were frequently assigned to work with it. It is believed SCP-396 is able to listen to nearby conversation and transported itself to locations mentioned by its research staff. Containment procedures and classification escalated until reaching their current levels. There are currently 1,224 locations that are known to have been discussed or mentioned in passing around SCP-396 that it may affect. It has been shown to be much more likely to affect locations that were mentioned repeatedly or in great detail. A full list is considered to be impossible due to incomplete records of SCP-396's early time in containment. Locations SCP-396 has affected Cruise Ship Located by junior researcher Bland while on vacation, after witnessing it manifest on the deck of the ship. Bland contacted the Foundation and classification was upgraded to Euclid upon recontainment. Theorized to have imprinted on Bland during his time working with the anomaly. Site 72, second level research floor. A researcher who had transferred from Site 77 is known to have mentioned their previous work there, which is the initial link leading to discovering the cause of SCP-396's escalation of anomalous activity. Death Row Redacted D-Class personnel assigned to testing had been asked to state their name and point of origin while in a testing chamber with SCP-396. D-936816 mentioned the Data Expunged Penitentiary at least two times during testing. Three months later, SCP-396 displaced itself and the electric chair located within this facility. Due to the fact that an execution was about to be performed prior to this displacement, it was only the timely intervention of local agents that prevented major amnestic intervention from becoming necessary. Upgrade to Keter put under consideration. Area 93 Washroom Review has shown that Researcher Park mentioned recent renovations to the Area 93 washroom when discussing their work environment with a colleague. 
Notably, this took place in a soundproof chamber previously thought to be safe from SCP-396's anomalous effects. U.S. Supreme Court, Washington, D.C. Supreme Court Justice Abe Fortas' seat was replaced by SCP-396 after he had arrived within the building but before taking his seat. It was not noticed until the end of that day's hearing, when Justice Fortas reported it as unusual to members of the Supreme Court police. Foundation personnel involved in the case were able to intercept documentation of the incident and recontain SCP-396. Set of <coughs> Talk Show A vacant audience member chair was displaced during the live broadcast of the show, although its presence was not detected until after the show was over. Suppressed footage of the show shows that SCP-396 is clearly visible when the camera is pointed at the audience. This footage has since been replaced with a doctored copy in <coughs> archives, although recordings of the original broadcast have not been completely suppressed due to their widespread nature. Shikra Roller Coaster, Orlando, Florida SCP-396 manifested in an empty seat during the ride's normal operation. Agents were able to recontain SCP-396 within two hours of displacement as the ride was shut down following the operators noticing the unusual seating and alerting their management. Agent Allen was commended for also suppressing the souvenir photo taken on the ride. Vatican City Pope Paul VI was displaced along with his throne and appeared within Area 93 disoriented and confused. Light dosages of amnestics were able to convince His Holiness that the incident was a religious experience and a deal was struck with Vatican City government officials to prevent widespread coverage of the incident. Addendum SCP-396-A On September 18, 19 <coughs> during regular testing of SCP-1609, the anomaly unexpectedly began to show aggression towards D-939668. However, before any personnel could be injured or killed, SCP-1609 was displaced by SCP-396. Due to SCP-396's more remote location and secure containment chamber, there were no casualties and SCP-1609 was recontained without additional incident. After the incident, it was found that D-939668 had previously worked as a contractor in the construction of multiple GOC facilities. Security data is being reviewed to find out how SCP-396 was able to displace itself to Storage Site-08. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you heard and would like to hear more, please consider liking and subscribing. It would be greatly appreciated. Also, if there are any other SCPs that you would like to hear me read, please leave them in the comments below. Have a nice day.